In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Sharp Tools app on your iOS device. Coming up next. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. And in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to install the Sharp Tools app. So right here on my screen, you can see that I have the Sharp Tools icon right here. And if I tap on that, it's going to take me right into my dashboard and I can get to my rules engine. And I can also go back to my dashboards, whatever dashboard I want. So that is how it works. And this is how you're going to want to set it up. And to get this set up, what you need to do is go to your Safari on your iOS device. And we're going to type in Sharp Tools. I think I just saw it there. So once you open up your Sharp Tools, what you want to do is choose a dashboard that you want to start on. So I have a dashboard specifically for my phone set up here, which is optimized for my screen. So this is the dashboard that I want to use. And all you need to do is go to the bottom. You go all the way to the bottom of the page. It's not going to show this menu. Just go all the way to the top of the page and see right in the middle, you have the little square with the arrow pointing up. Tap that. And what you want to do is go to add to home screen, um, which is um, right in the middle of my screen here. And it says add to home screen with a plus in a square. Tap that. And then what you're going to want to do is name it. So I'm just going to call this one Sharp Tools 2. I already have it set up um, already on my phone. And all this is going to do is basically put an icon on your iOS device where you can easily tap it to go right into your dashboard. So now you can see that the icon is showing on our screen here. And it's Sharp Tools 2 because that's what I chose the name to be. And it's got the Sharp Tools logo, and it looks um, just like an app. You would not know the difference. Now, when you tap on this, you're going to have to log in one time. And you're going to want to log in using your email address. So just tap on email and go ahead and log in. All right, and then once you log in, it's going to take you to the dashboard that you originally had when you set it up. So now, um, if I actually close this, I'm going to close all these all these apps here. So I have nothing open, nothing there. Tap it. Take me right into my dashboard. I end it. Tap it again. Takes me right into my dashboard. And then also you have the menu at the upper left hand corner. So you can get to all of the um, like the community, the support, your rules engine. Um, what I've done is I've actually created a rules engine shortcut right on my dashboard. So if I go all the way to the bottom, tap that, it's going to take me right over to my rules. And um, you want to get back to your dashboard, just go up to the menu, click on dashboard, and then click on phone. Now, if I were to leave this, say I um, left this on my rules here, and I'm going to end this. When I tap on it again, it's going to take me right back to my dashboard because that's the shortcut that we set up. So it's not going to take you back to where you left off. It's going to take you back to where your shortcut was set up. Um, but you can do that for any application, um, not just Sharp Tools. What I've done is a lot of the websites that I go to often, I've created my own apps. So I have the community installer, so I can just tap that and it's going to take me right into the community installer. It will take me right in there. And I can just check and make sure all of my stuff is up to date. It's going to tell you everything that's installed. I've also created shortcuts to my website. So I can just tap that and it take me right to my website. I don't have to go into um, a browser and type in anything like that. I don't need to go into a browser and type in an address. 
Oh, and um, I also made a shortcut to the Smart Things Groove IDE page. So I can easily come into here and log in to this. And I've also created a shortcut to the Smart Things community as well. So all of that stuff I can easily get to with just the tap. Um, makes it so much easier than like opening Google Chrome or Safari and actually typing in the address or finding a shortcut. You just tap up tap the icon and you're good to go. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.